Hans Ulrich Rudel was an iconic ground attack pilot from Germany. During his service, he was highly decorated for his exceptional service during the Second World War. He is also one of the only ones to receive the Knight's Cross along with prestigious awards including, but not limited to, the Swords and the Golden Oak. Following the war, he continued to be an active follower of Nazi propaganda in Latin America and certain parts of Western Germany. At the time of the Second World War, Rudel was attributed to destroying 519, a single battleship, a cruiser, multiple landing equipment, and countless artillery's vehicles. He was also popular for his aerial competencies and claimed 11 swooping victories from the same. During the war, Rudel was known for hosting the ground attack projects which were typically held at the Eastern Front. Following the war, in 1945, Rudel voluntarily surrendered to the American forces and was asked to move to Argentina. Being a committed socialist, he played a crucial role in helping multiple war fugitives to illegally escape to Middle Eastern countries and parts of Latin America. Interestingly, he is also known for providing shelter to Joseph Mengele who happened to be a former medicine practitioner at an Auschwitz camp. He played a pivotal role in dealing arms and was associated with several South American right-wing groups. Because of the same reason, the U.S. Intelligence Department decided to keep him under complete observation. During the German elections in 1953, the man had carved a presence among right-wing voters, so much so, that he was one of the leading candidates of the Reich Party in Germany. For the uninitiated, the Reich Party represents the far-right supporters in Germany. Unfortunately, despite his apparent popularity, he lost the election. When Perón fell, Rudin considered this an opportunity and decided to relocate to Paraguay where he would act as a foreign agent for multiple German organizations. In this video, we will know more about his early life, career and more. As always, if you want more videos as this one, help this channel with your likes and comments. Early Life Rudel was born in a religious family in a small part of Prussia, then known as Konrad's Waldau. Religion played a crucial role in his early life because his father was a practicing Lutheran secretariat. During his juvenile years, Rudel failed to show exceptional capacities in academics, and he, therefore, devoted more time to sports. He was an avid sportsman and had championed several matches during his school time. In 1933, he decided to join the youth program as conducted by Hitler. Within three years he had graduated and was thus asked to participate in a compulsory project. Rudel's project involved the Labor Service Department of the Reich where he diligently worked for a while. However, within the same year, he received an opportunity to start his military career and decided to embark on that mission. He became a part of the Luftwaffe and one of his first tasks was as an air pilot. Career At the beginning of the Second World War, the German forces had already invaded parts of Poland and other parts of Europe. This was during 1939 when Rudolf was serving the role of an air observer. As part of his service, he operated extensive reconnaissance missions across Poland. A year later, he relocated to Vienna where he was charged as a leader of the aviation training department. The next year, Ruhl decided to start a new training for Stuka Aviation. Following the completion of his training, he was assigned to Staffel Sturzkampf Schwader II which was a part of the German plan to occupy Poland in the eventful Barbarossa battle. In 1941, when the Soviet forces were waging a war against Germany, Rudel defended his nation by attempting to attack the Murat battleship which at that time was located in the Baltic regions. As meticulously planned, Rudel along with others hit a 2.2 pounds bomb near the Murat. This didn't just lead to a massive explosion but also destroyed the entirety of the battleship. More than 300 individuals were killed and the ship was believed to settle almost 11 feet under the water body. Even though Rudel claims to have handled the majority of the operation alone, he only shot one of the two major bombs shot at the ship. Regardless, his valiance and bravery are laudable. Following the success of this operation, Rudel along with his entire unit decided to participate in the Typhoon operation which involved elaborate plans on capturing the capital of the Soviet Union. From 1941, Rudel was assigned a specialized gunner who served him for the following two years. Because of both Rudel and his gunman's contribution both were awarded the prestigious Knights and Iron Cross at that time. Unfortunately, the gunman suffered a severe death when he along with other German troops attempted to force land on their lines. Because of his incredible success in his career, Rudel was a popular bachelor and sought after by many. However, he was married only in 1942 in a private ceremony. Because details are still undisclosed we barely know about his wife. However, we do know that immediately after his marriage Rudel was highly devoted and within just one year he had carried out 500 missions. In 1943, the prestigiously flew his biggest and at that time 1000th mission. 
Thanks to this, he was then a national hero. Rudel is also known to participate in multiple experiments involving the anti-tank. In case you don't know already, the anti-tank is known for combating the Soviet Union. Because of his incredible merit and success, he received another Knights and Iron Cross the same year in Berlin. This time, it was slightly different because Hitler personally handed out the award to him. In 1944, Rudel rose to the ranks of group commander after which he decided to initiate a force landing along the Soviet lines. Although he escaped the line, his favorite gunman, as referred to earlier, couldn't escape the lines and drowned in water. Following his return, Rudel was assigned a new gunman who was also proficient in operating radios. It is worth noting that multiple awards Rudel received during his career are a singular feat because he is only the tenth person within the Wehrmacht to have been nominated and awarded personally by the Fuhrer. In 1944, Rudel received a couple of other promotions and by December of the same year, he embarked on his 2400 mission. However, the following day, he also reported that the 463rd tank had been demolished. A couple of days later, he was promoted to the rank of colonel and was yet again awarded the Knight's Cross which was now decorated with swords and diamonds as well. It is believed that Rudel is the only individual to receive a prestigious decoration of this stature. It is worth noting that this award was initially created to celebrate the victory following the war. However, Hitler gave him the award anyway in 1945. Four months later, the Allied forces defeated Germany. Just before the war was about to close, Rudel experienced a severe injury on his right foot. However, he, fortunately, landed within his country's lines. Because of the injury, Rudel had to amputate a part of his leg under the knee. This didn't, however, deter him from flying. Before the Allied force claimed victory, Rudel had already demolished at least 30 tanks. Finally, in April, right before the birthday of Hitler, Rudel met him in Berlin for a personal congratulation. Following the war, he fled in the western fields by flying in a close airfield located in Prague. Unfortunately, Ha landed in a territory that was controlled by the Allied forces and was thus compelled to surrender. Even though the Red Army from the Soviet Union repeatedly requested them to return the man to them, their requests were denied. Death. As you probably know, following the war, Rudel was highly invested in far-right propaganda. During this time, he also married twice following the divorce from his first wife Hanna. It is believed that the primary reason behind the divorce was Hanna's decision to sell his silver cross to an American industrialist. Following the divorce, he married again in 1965 and had a son. During this point, he had three sons, two from the previous marriage. In 1970, Rudel experienced but survived a major stroke. In 1977, he married again. Rudel finally died in 1982 following yet another major stroke. The place of his death is recorded as Rosenheim and he is known to be buried in Dornhausen. At the time of his funeral function, two F-4 Phantoms performed a celebratory low-altitude flying commemorating his memorable life. It is important to note that Dornhausen wasn't just any other location. It was located in proximity to a flight path that was frequented by the American military and several officers denied purposely flying over his grave. At the time of his funeral, journalists photographed four Nazi sympathizers who probably performed a Nazi salute before his grave. The same individuals were later investigated for publicly displaying symbols of Nazi Germany. Later, Manfred Werner, the leader of the defense confirmed that the flight was not an act of commemoration but a basic aviator training session. To end this video, remember, if you want more videos as this one, help this channel with your likes and comments.